Anywhere online where a dealer has traffic coming in can be a place for their online reputation. Dealers need to take control of their brand story and collect great review content all over the web. Make sure you're taking control of your reputation story. And that's not just on cars.com, that's elsewhere throughout the internet as well. Mm -hmm. I always say any place where you know you've got traffic coming in to look at you or your vehicles, that's a good place to make sure that you're branded appropriately and that mm -hmm. you're telling the story that you want to tell. Again, it's one of the reasons why for PowerDrive we started pulling in some tools to help manage a dealer's reputation, both on cars.com, but elsewhere as well. Because again, it's, it's great to have great review content on cars.com. We also always encourage dealerships to make sure they've got re great review content elsewhere as well, because they really need to take control of that brand story. I also say have a strategy around just how you want to talk about the new cars that are on your lot. So mm -hmm. as we've started building out this offer content, for example, I hear over and over from dealerships we love a lot of the automated tools that are provided. We also love the ability to go in and say, this is a new car that's been on my lot for a long time, so I'm gonna specifically target some offers towards those because I wanna get those off my lot sooner rather than later. And then I also just think it's a matter of just take control of how people are talking about you. So again, in the cars.com space, it's a difference between not merchandising terribly well or not even thinking about how you're gonna display your new cars. It's a difference between not thinking about, you know what, I don't know what people are gonna see when they come to cars.com or other places. And then building out that profile page, making sure that you're telling the story the way you want to. Looking at how your vehicles look on an SRP compared to the other vehicles next to them. We like to think on cars.com, we're giving them a lot of powerful tools to set themselves apart. Mm -hmm. But again, I really think it comes down to, if you know you're gonna wind up on an SRP in Chicago that's gonna have 500 of the same car, all within a thousand or two thousand dollars in price. How are you going to tell that shopper this is the place that you specifically want to go to have a great experience that you're going to be confident? In?